I don't love you. I think it's only fair that you know that. I cleared some space in the wardrobe. Spare hangers. I don't normally call guys up in the middle of the night. Thanks for letting me see you. Well, who's the pretty? Oh, you must be Mina. No, that's the other girl in my room. How do you know her? Don't worry about her, Dan. I don't think she's very rich. And news of our boy must be travelling far for new blood to come calling. Not everyone needs a man. Are you and Paul together? Why else would I be here? Pregnant. Can you feel it? Not yet. What's he promised? Who? Dan, you two are sick planning this. I don't mean to pry, Mina, but... I'm getting rid of it. It's a chemical abortion. You can't let him build up your hopes like this. I'm keeping it. Do you still love me? I don't want you flittering around in my room when I get back. Have the abortion. Nobody will blame you. I don't understand why you're here. An abortion is no big deal. Yeah, I've been punished and humiliated, begging for permission to get rid of your own baby. Who can make it work? I'll get to uni. Your baby is alive. You have to accept that. It's a blob of cells. Some women get really depressed after an abortion. They go mad. I'm already fucking mad. Guys keep relationships together. No, they don't. You just look at your parents, your friends at uni with their girlfriends, lying to shut the other person up, lying even about loving them. That's the crux of relationships. Never love! Dreams can't be achieved with children. <laughs> I can't hear you.